Jesus said, go thy way. And the Bible says immediately he received his sight and followed Jesus. How did Christ perform that miracle? It was through the power of the Good morning to you. And on this morning, we are talking about experiencing the Holy Spirit. And you will see from the life of Christ, the things that Jesus accomplished, healing the sick, teaching and preaching the gospel, it was through the power of the Holy Spirit. He didn't do it just because he was the Son of God, because it wouldn't be fair to you and myself. There would be no way he can be our perfect example if he did everything as the supernatural Son of God. But everything he did, he did it as a man full of the Holy Spirit. It's going to encourage somebody this morning. Come on, lift your hands, let's worship. Tell him, here I am. So here I am to worship. Here I am to bow down. Here I am to say that you're my God. You're all together lovely. You're all together worthy. You're all together wonderful to me. So here I am to worship. Here I am to bow down. Here I am to say that you're my God. You're all together lovely. You're all together worthy. You're all together wonderful to me. So here I am to worship. Here I am to bow down. And here I am to say that you're my God. You're all together lovely. You're all together worthy. You're all together wonderful to me. I never know, and I never know how much it costs to see my sin. Upon the cross, and I never know, and how much it costs to see my sin. Tell him, Here I am. So here I am to worship, here I am to bow down. Father God. In the name of Jesus Christ, me and Pastor Amy, we lift your wonderful people up before you right now. We pray that you would touch them. We pray that you would encourage them from the word of God. We pray that they would see themselves differently and realize that they are anointed to do exploits. Help them to see it that they are anointed to do exploits. Open their spiritual eyes, open their ears, and don't allow the enemy to rob a single one of them of what you are sharing and imparting into their lives this week. In the name of Jesus, somebody say amen. Glory to God, anointed to do exploits. And we are talking about experiencing the Holy Spirit. And this is so crucial what I'm sharing with you on this morning. On this morning, we're going to see the Holy Spirit at work in and through the life of the Lord Jesus. So pay attention. Let's go into the book of Luke chapter 4, verse 14. Now, I want to say this. The miracles that Jesus performed, I used to be under the impression that, oh, okay, he's the son of God, all of this he came down here as the son of God, so all of that power, he did that as the son of God. He did that because he was God in the flesh, but I was wrong. 
He didn't do it because he was the son of God. He did it because he was being an example to us of a man that was fully yielded to the Holy Ghost. Come on, somebody. It was the Holy Spirit who did all of those miracles through the Lord Jesus Christ. If it was not the Holy Ghost, then he could not be our perfect example. Are you listening to me? Now watch this. Let's go into Luke chapter 4, verse 14. This was after Jesus had finished fasting for 40 days and 40 nights. We know Luke chapter 4, 1 and 2 says, And Jesus, being full of the Holy Ghost, was led by the Spirit of God into the wilderness. And in those days he was tempted by the devil for 40 days and 40 nights. After that fast was over, verse 14 says, And Jesus returned in the power of the Spirit into Galilee. How did he return? What happened after that fast? He returned in his own power. No, he returned in the power of the Spirit in the Galilee. That same power is available to you and me. Watch this. And there went out a fame of him through all the region round about. So Jesus was walking not in his own power as the Son of God. He was not allowed to do that. But he walked as a man full of the Holy Ghost, walking in the power of God just like Moses, just like Elijah, just like David, just like Joshua. Are you listening to me? Watch this. Listen to what Jesus said out of his own mouth in Luke chapter 4, verse 18 and 19. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me because he has anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He has sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to preach deliverance to the captives and recovering of sight to the blind, to set at liberty them that are bruised, to preach the acceptable year of the Lord. Jesus said, his, he said, my preaching is through the anointing of the Holy Ghost. He said it out of his own mouth. He said, the spirit of God is on me because he has anointed me to preach the gospel. He preached just as any man full of the Holy Ghost preached. He preached under the anointing of the Holy Ghost. How did he heal the brokenhearted? He healed the brokenhearted through the anointing of the Holy Ghost. The woman with the issue of blood, when she reached out and grabbed the hole of the hem of his garment, it was the healing power of the Holy Ghost that flowed through Jesus into her body and completely made a hole of that plague. It was the power of the Holy Ghost. Are you listening to me this morning? It was the healing power of the Holy Spirit. He said, he had sent me to heal the broken at it, to preach deliverance, to preach deliverance to the captives. The demoniac at Gadara, who was set free from over 2,000 demons. How did Jesus do it? We'll see here in a minute. Just give me a second. I'll read it to you soon. And recovering of sight to the blind. When blind Bartimaeus that I preached about last week received his sight, how did he get his sight? It was the power of the Holy Spirit operating through Jesus. When Jesus said to blind Bartimaeus, what is it that you want me to do for you? Blind Bartimaeus said that I might receive my sight. Jesus said, go thy way. And the Bible says immediately he received his sight and followed Jesus. How did that, how did Christ perform that miracle? It was through the power of the Holy Spirit, the same power that worked through Jesus, the same power of the Holy Ghost that worked through Christ and the apostles, the apostle Paul. That is the same power that is available to you and myself. Are you hearing me? In Uganda, you hear me share this story over and over. The young girl, the young woman, born deaf and dumb at the age of 18, in that meeting in Uganda, when we were praying for God to touch his people, we were rebuking a deaf and dumb spirit. That young woman fell on the ground. And when they lift her up, she could hear a whisper. And she began to speak and repeat after me, amen, amen, amen. How did that miracle happen? Well, it wasn't Pastor Sean. It was the power of the Holy Ghost, the same power that operated in the life and the ministry of the Lord Jesus Christ. That's the same Holy Spirit that lives in me 
needs the same Holy Spirit that lives on the inside of you. My God, you should be encouraged. If I was you listening to this message, I would be pumped. Come on, somebody. He said, recovering of sight to the blind, to set at liberty them that are bruised, to preach the acceptable year of the Lord. That was the Holy Spirit working through the Lord Jesus Christ in the ministry of Dr. R. Roberts, Dr. T. L. Osborne. Come on, somebody. The great men of God, great women of God, like Catherine Coleman and others. It was the power of the Holy Ghost, great men of God that are alive right now around the world. God's working through their ministries to heal the sick, unstop the ears of the deaf, open the eyes of the blind, cause the cripples to get up and walk, healing cancers. How are they doing it? It is not the man. It is the Holy Ghost that lives in the man. It's the power of the Holy Spirit. Come on, somebody. Can't nobody take credit for healing anybody because it ain't the man doing it or the woman. It's the healing power of the Holy Ghost. Watch this. Remember, I talk about the man at the Gadarenes, the one who Jesus cast those demons out of. Listen to what Jesus said out of his own mouth in Matthew chapter 12, verse 28. Jesus said, but if I cast out devils by the spirit of God, then the kingdom of God has come unto you. Jesus said, I cast demons out by the Spirit of God. It's the power of the Holy Ghost operating in and through my life that's enabling me and empowering me to cast demons out. Jesus said, I can't do it by myself. Watch this, y'all. Is this helping anybody this morning? Come on, talk back to me. Is anybody being helped? I want to read your comments. Comment below the video of this if the Holy Ghost is talking to you. Now watch this. Luke chapter 6, verse 17 through 19. And he came down with them and stood this after he chose his 12 apostles. He came down with them and stood in the plain and the company of his disciples and a great multitude of people out of all Judea and Jerusalem and from the seacoast of Tyre and Sidon, which came to hear him and to be healed of their diseases. And they that were vexed with unclean spirits and they were healed. Watch this. And the whole multitude sought to touch him for there went virtue. Virtue right there means power and anointing. There went virtue out of him and healed them all. There went virtue. Where did that virtue, where did that power, where did that anointing come from? It was coming from the Holy Spirit who lived and who anointed Jesus to perform great miracle signs and wonders. It was the power of the Holy Ghost. I'll give you a scripture that explains this and make this even clearer. Let's go to Acts chapter 10, verse 38. This is the apostle Peter preaching to Cornelius, a Gentile at his house. Listen to what Peter says. How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power. Wait a minute, read it again. How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power who went about doing good and healing all that were oppressed of the devil for God was with him. What did he do? He healed them all. How did he heal them all? Because he was anointed with the Holy Ghost and power. He was anointed with the power of the Holy Ghost. And through the power of the Holy Ghost that flowed through him, he performed great signs, wonders, and miracles, raising Lazarus from the dead, raising the widow of Nain's son from the dead. Come on, somebody. Cleansing the leper, healing the multitudes. It was the power of the Holy Ghost. Luke chapter 5, verse 7. And it came to pass on a certain day as he was teaching that there were Pharisees and doctors of the law sitting by which were come out of every town of Galilee and Judea and Jerusalem. And the power of the Lord was present to heal them. The power of the Lord. That's the power of the Holy Ghost. Are you listening to me this morning? That is the power of the Holy Ghost. Matthew 4, 23, and Jesus went about all Galilee teaching in their synagogues and preaching the gospel of the kingdom and healing all man of sickness and all man of disease among the people. And even as Jesus preached, they said he does not speak like the Pharisees for his word was with 
power. What power was that that he was teaching and preaching with? It was the power of the Holy Spirit that came upon him and he spoke with great power and authority. And when he, when he spoke, faith came alive in the hearts of people. And the word he preached and spoke, God backed it up and confirmed the word with great signs, wonders, and miracles following. Come on, somebody. Isn't our God awesome? My God is awesome, and he can move mountains. Keep me in the valley. Hide me from the rain. My God is awesome. He heals me when I'm broken. Strength where I've been weakened. Come on. Forever. He will reign. My God is awesome. He's awesome. He's awesome. He's awesome. Deliver up. Come on. Deliver up. Deliver up. Deliver up. Deliver up. He's awesome. He's awesome. Come on. He's mighty. He's mighty. He's mighty. He's mighty. He's awesome. He's awesome. Come on, church. Provider. 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 He's awesome. He's awesome. Protector. Come on, church. Protector. 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 He's awesome. He's awesome. Healer. Come on. Healer. 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 He's awesome. He's awesome. Deliver up. Come on, church. Deliver up. Deliver up. Deliver up. Deliver up. He's awesome. Father God, right now in the name of Jesus Christ, I thank you for the supernatural strength of the Holy Ghost that's stirring the hearts of your people building their faith strengthening and encouraging their faith renewing their minds through the word lifting them god lifting them out of low self-esteem and discouragement and oppression and depression that feeling like they are nobody is they are somebody because the holy ghost lives in them they are anointed to do exploits let them experience victory let them experience some unusual successes, Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ. Somebody say amen. Listen, we travel to Pakistan in November. I'm asking you to stand with us. I'm asking you to support that trip. We can't do this without you. We are taking a step of faith. I'm not going to tell you what to give. You know what you can do. We're just asking you to do the best that you can. Send me. I made a commitment to him wherever he lead, I'm following him. I don't care which part of this world he called me to preach the gospel. I'm going. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Visit us online right now. SeanPender.net forward slash give. You can also give through the ministry PayPal account. You can also give through the ministry Zelle account. The ministry Cash App account. You can text to give the information on the screen. You can also mail your donations into the ministry. Let the Holy Spirit lead you. Whatever the Holy Ghost put on your heart, just obey Him. 
Listen, we encourage you to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click on that subscribe button and make sure to turn on all of your notifications so you will not miss any of our morning prayer broadcasts. And we encourage you to listen to that broadcast. Psalms 121 Help is on the way. That's our most viewed broadcast. Over 3.7 million views. It'll be a tremendous blessing to you.